Hello, welcome back. Last time I opted out of a rather unpleasant puzzle because I had done it before and I uh, feel like that was the right choice. So, Agent Virgil on ice. Something I don't recognize by name. Let's see what this is. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. Okay, that is a familiar sounding voice line, but... I remember this boot with the weird, like, teeth in front of it. All right, we got some boot-shaped ice here. Hockey puck. Got like a bottle of ink on my head or something. Here's one of the binders in the archives. Okay, Hockey Puck Virgil, you're gonna have to elevate your way out of there using... Yeah, using what? I can drop this down somewhere on you. You can lose your ice. What would happen if I did this? Let's see, I want to sandwich that. The gravity wins. The ice does not. Okay. What am I doing here? Let's uh, save one of these away. And reset just to see if there's a line. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. Okay. So, Guppy and Virgil. If that happens, he has nowhere to go. Virgil must climb. How's he gonna do that? This is weird. Okay, so options. I can do that. Virgil can't quite reach it. I can do this, and Virgil still can't reach. He comes closer to being able to, but he still can't. Okay. I mean, that, that doesn't go down on its own. I can't push it down. There are no steel pipes here. Look at me, Look I'm, at a me. I'm a hockey puck. So what's this about? I can go in and get... I guess one object out. So I gain an object while still having passage. If Virgil is standing on something here, or actually if he's just standing there, I can push him through and get myself through at the same time. There's a bunch of, like, a suspicious amount of space there. Ah, this has also gotten me access to a boot. What do I want a boot for? Uh, a boot could hold down some ice. That might be meaningful. It's a little hard to see how. And what's all this space for? I can drop the binder, but why? And what's this ice for? Maybe Virgil's gonna be on this for going- well, no. Like, as soon as he's up here, as long as I haven't gotten this out of the way of that thing, I'm done. So the entire puzzle is how to get Virgil. Here on top of this ice. Like, basically just have the ice nice go computer. up by two. Thanks. I like it too. Uh, I could have done this differently to preserve some things... Um, other options. This can go there. I don't know why I would, and also it kills me. So, no, that's no good. So, interacting with just this part of the puzzle. Uh, that boot cannot insert in here, because this pinch forbids it, so no. What's a boot for? What am I trying to do? He's so excited to be a hockey puck.
I don't understand how to start on Look this. At me. I'm a hockey puck. <laughs> so pushing this over here involves seen that coming. seeing that coming. There isn't really another way I can do it except maybe with the boots assistance, maybe? But why would I want this? The problem is how to elevate this ice. Is there a way I could maybe give Virgil a sufficient number of things to climb on top of there to... what? To what? I really don't see what. Like, what do I want to do here? Where do I start? So I can have another doorknob. Oh, that's probably a doorknob. It's just in that orientation it looked like an ink bottle. But no, these are all doorknobs. What can I do with a bunch of doorknobs and a boot? And maybe a binder? Nothing I know about. Okay, so the boot is shaped. Hold on. The boot is shaped. Um, let's just do this for now. Just testing something out. Don't mind what this does to the rest of the puzzle state. Well, I guess I will mind that. Boot could almost be an ability to pull an object upward, but it's not because a guppy has to use all of this space to get down here. No potential for doorknobs on top of her. But this can move this way. Could it have been involved in making this ice safe? Could it still? Not again. Well, right now, no. Bad move, Agent Guppy. Okay, so no. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. I don't understand how to start. Okay, so goal is Virgil out. Um, he could exit this way too. Ah, okay, so note. Virgil could exit this way if Guppy can exit this way. I don't see why both wouldn't just go out here. Oh, I do. This is a Virgil trap that I can't fill in. And it's going to be too crowded in here for him to climb up onto Guppy's back because that's... Okay, so Virgil Maybe cannot exit here. On the web. I'm working on it. Virgil must exit this way. So he has to ride this up. Okay, that was an important realization. My goal is something a little different than I thought, but it still involves getting Virgil up in this part of the puzzle. It just means I have to preserve a different set of objects, maybe. Okay. He can't go up here. He can maybe get on this shelf for a moment, and I don't see what that would do. I need to, like... <sighs> what? What do I need to do? So... If I would knob here... If I would verge... Okay, so if I... What if I'd knob here first? Hold down the ice for a moment. Virgil can release that hold when he wants to. Why would that make sense? I don't know, but maybe it could somehow. So then if I bind her... Like this... What does that do for me? Okay, then if I have another knob, I can climb the binder. Release this. Step up. 
and have something that almost looks like it'll let him ascend. Okay, I'm starting to see a way to something. And the boot would assist with... Okay. Okay, Virgil didn't have to do what he did quite yet. Let's leave this here. Put one of those there. All right, this is actually starting to come together, surprisingly. I do want this doorknob here. I want this crab here. Binder there. In the pit. Doorknob here. Okay, so this starts to do something. But it's not enough, because that's too high and this is too low. What I have left isn't much. It's a boot. I could maybe... Okay. Like, losing this eye seems very bad. If only I could set it up to just not go quite as high. I can't, though. Unless I could push it to the right, which I can. That seems helpful. Is that everything? Kinda. Sorta. Maybe. Almost. It's not everything everything, because this is too far to the left. Okay, so that now becomes my problem. The boot couldn't help me grip it. Boot could get the binder or something? Okay, I'm getting there. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. So let's uh, just demonstrate this problem here. The reason the puzzle's not done right now, despite being able to do this, is there's a Virgil trap there. Oh, well, Virgil, you're on your own. Good luck. <laughs> uh, and the boot can't help me. Nothing can. If I could get one more object down here, it'd be good, but I, I can't. So, uh, he needs to exit out this way, which means this needs to be one to the right, which nobody has the means to do right now. Therefore, I need to not have pushed it to the left in that move. So for that to be possible, I need to be able to do this without dying. Not only that, but this really needs to be weighed down. Hang on, I can get the boot now. Alright, so just stand on that to hold it down temporarily. Um, is the boot going to get in my way? Yes, among other problems. I also can't do what I want to do here. This kills the fish. Not again. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so how can I insert something different in this sequence? Binder must go down. This doesn't Not help again. me. Not again. But something gotta be on that ice. Oh, I see something I can do. All the way back at the start, or here, I can do this. That helps me... how? I still can't move this to the right. Can I switch the object that's on it? Why would I want to? No, I mean I need to do this and this. And now I need that binder down. The boot is my wild card here. Somehow I have to use that boot to do something magical. Okay, so the reason that 
pulling up that ice was interesting is because it opens up the possibility of uh, a different action here. Virgil can still move that ice around, but I need to use the binder before I can have a Virgil. Because I was thinking that I could do like... Uh, this doesn't even get me the boot. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, you should have. If this goes all the way in here, no, I do get it. Wait, and I can do that without the ice being as high as it was. I also could have done that without the doorknob being where it is, but... Oh, uh, no, I can't do that without the ice moving. Unless the doorknob's somewhere else. Okay. This is a, uh, smallish possibility space. I appreciate. Doorknob had to be that far left, because otherwise... No, it didn't. Well, it's going to have to eventually. So now my hope is that I can, like, do a swap between the binder and the boot, which I can. Check me out. There we go, that makes the ice safe. Uh, kinda. Okay, that should be sufficient, right? I think so. Look at me, I'm a hockey puck. Alright, you can pull the ice to the right, and then I have pretty much full control over what happens, right? As much control as I need. In fact, do you even want to do that? Yeah, because the boot's got to move. There we go. I think that's everything. Virgil's out, and Guppy's out. Great, okay. That was just fine. Just the beginning was so, can I bring pretty you tough. Along for show and tell? All right, well, do I dare do another? Get the key card. No. Maybe. It doesn't have any starfish. But it's a get the. But I clicked the button. Aha! We've made it to the central archives. Aha! We made it to the central archives. How can you tell? There's so much seaweed in here. Well, look at that object. Isn't that familiar looking? I'm going to play a game that involves this object in just a moment after I'm done here. This looks like a uh, huge task. I figured it would be. I was going to say this doorknob's shooting a laser, but no, it's blocking a laser. Uh, Okay, let's take this moment to do something else. Oh, this, there is a starfish here. Have I gotten this one? Wait, where is it? Aha! There. We've made it to the central archives. Have I gotten Aha. this starfish? We've made it to the central archives. I don't believe so. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. How can you tell? I pressed escape. No, I didn't. I pressed a different button. Where's my thing? It's here somewhere. I didn't have it up. Reference material says... I never got that starfish. Yeah, no, I'm not doing a, a get the and a whole new starfish at this point in a session. I could enter the lab. I have a different plan. Oh, this doesn't give me a new picture. Okay, how the game story was developed. Neat. All right, Pearl Sort, I'll spend some time with you. I want to understand just how to even interact with this puzzle because so far I feel like I have not even, like, started to do it. Okay. Here's a start. That, mm, no, hang on. There's some plausibility to this. Kinda. Well, now what? <laughs> Nothing really. What do you think is going to happen from here? 
Now Guppy can move this to the right since Flounder's up there. I don't see how that would help me. Both fish gotta get out. Alright, so I need to pack a bunch of pearls in there. I'm sure I have to occupy that space, so that inefficiency will not be accepted. If you went over here, I mean, nothing good would happen. You can't even fit through there. Where did Flounder start? Under the thing, okay. Um, he could switch sides. He could switch sides like this. I think you should have done that differently. Clank, clank, loud noises. Let's try something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can I get one of my fish out? Oh, I can't move anymore after that. Move is disabled. All right. <laughs> I thought I could continue after somebody had died, but no, I just, just have to stop everything. I can drop here and it's fine. For some definition of fine. Well, okay, so this is changing my color patterns. Flounder doesn't feel to me like he's gonna be able to get out of there. So what are you saying? Like, I want to get all the blue ones in there or something somehow? It's a complete mystery as to what the colors of these pearls mean. So I'm just gonna try some stuff and see what happens. Flounder can't move up. Right, because of those, of course. If Guppy were to dive in here with the pearls... I could clear the channel for Flounder. This one is in the way. Was there a way for it not to be? No. Maybe? No. Unless maybe... Oh, if... sorry. Ooh, don't do that. Okay, so I have to do this. Okay, so what if... And I have too much there. Okay, so it would have to be now? But that doesn't work. Like from there I can get enough space to move up once. I don't know, maybe that's plausible? No, sorry. Uh, because of that it's not. You can move up more. do nothing. See, I need this spot clear, I think. Wow, this puzzle is horrifying. <laughs> if I had a few more spaces clear there, maybe would something be good? Okay. I did something. Seems like something bad. I mean, there's no way Flounder's ever getting out of there right now, right? Right. So this is probably moving to the right? Or Flounder is hanging out here like I tried a moment ago. I'd like to get some pearls down there first, or maybe on his back. Could he do that? Well, no, not from there. The only way for stuff to be on his back is for like this pit to be filled with pearls, but I don't want that. So no. Uh. Well, could I work with... Some no, pearls sorry. here? Oh, dang, every time.
I mean, it's kind of interesting I was able to do all that. But see, if I move this left at all, I'm never getting it back as far as I know. Maybe that's okay? What if it was? Well, but flounder. Okay, so what if we move together? Flounder cannot get out. He would have to elevate this and go here, which is not open. So he needs at minimum. So at most I could stash pearls here, here, and here. See, like, that doesn't even work for what I was thinking. Though that went down there, which is kind of almost healthy. Because here you can move those over. Which, yeah, while fun and cool, so does not help me with my problems. This is too many pearls in Flounder's head. How many is an appropriate number? Zero. Uh, oh yeah, putting that on that shelf means Flounder's never getting through there unless the thing goes down, so no. Alright, I gotta get some down here. Just fill all these chambers. What do you suppose the red ones could mean? <laughs> Nobody knows. They could be the four that go here. They could go here. I'm just assuming that like colors are together in some way. All right, how many blue? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four red. Twelve blue, four red. The rest green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I give up, Guppy. Why don't you think about the puzzle for a while? <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Uh, so getting pearls down into this area seems like the hard one. What feels like it would be nice for that if I could have Guppy over here and Flounder like pushing pearls down to her and this but then what about hmm. hmm Flounder's well he's not trapped but he's gonna have to move that back left to get anywhere Okay, I can do that operation. Alright, well. I don't know, maybe I want to. Have I mentioned this puzzle is absolutely horrifying? Yes, I have, but it bears repeating. Flounder can't move like that from there. He'd have to go here first for this to become possible. And it's still not because there's too many pearls now. Because doing this I kills his partner. Not again. Ouch. Let's do some of this. No flounder route out of here. Unless this drops, uh, but okay, I pushed too many for there to be a, a route that involves that dropping. Yikes! But if it drops, it has to move right, and there's no way for that to happen anymore. I can open up a way. Oh, hang on, if I do this, I can pack some in there, which is kind of good for some things. 
uh, but no room for it to drop with any pearls in there. Okay, so let's see here. Now that's an interesting move. How much of that can I ignore? Some. Stuff's kind of happening. That's all gonna go down, which is alright with me. Clank. I mean, there's a lot of unused space down there, and also that's too far to the right. So it'd have to be... that? That kills Guppy. No, it doesn't. There's a pearl saving her. Uh, not enough Guppy room to get through. Otherwise, though, close to plausible. Can I have one pearl fewer here? Maybe. then that doesn't have a place to drop, so no. Um, could Guppy have been in a place that would make that possible? Maybe? Not really, because that still drops there. Well, I can do this, but then I can't get to the other side for that, so no. Uh, is there potential to live? One up, and the other is. But, how is that? Uh, well, mm, no. We both went over, but no, that's too far. No. No, I need that farther, but... That's something I can't have, isn't it? Not without this going. Could that have been on the other side of Flounder? This does something. Ooh, other side of Flounder. Okay. Guppy wants to be where now? I'm just ignoring the colors at this point, because as far as I am concerned, they're completely meaningless. Right, so you'd need to go in here. Doing something that resembles accomplishing a task here. At least vaguely. This has the same problem still. Unless I could maybe... No, I can't. No. Could those both have ended up on the other side of Flounder? I mean, sure. Why not? Well, because... Reasons. Well, are you sure? Yes. No. Does this do it? It does. But that's a problem, because then they're... Well, now hang on. So what exactly does that do? Let's observe. Flounder can get up to this spot now. This can drop, but then Guppy's trapped. For the moment. Forever. Okay. Yeah, one or both of my fish is trapped right now. I can do some of that and make everything worse. Mm -hmm. Sure did make everything worse. So 
So you two seem bad in that spot. You two seem bad no matter where I put you. Is there any way I could stash you like over here early or something? It's interesting to me that that's propped up right now. Maybe I can do something with that? Actually... Hmm. Is there any potential to just have these, like, next to him and... I don't think so. I can't get enough over here to do what I want to do. These two need to not be there. There's no way I can accomplish that, right? Probably. Okay, is that as much Pearl Sword as I'm going to attempt today? Probably. Because, yeah, this is just going nowhere. Would there be any future potential ever for Flounder to push his way out of this situation? No. The potential is gone. Right? Yes, because this that can't go left enough to resolve his pinch. It has to go in that spot. So unless there is just a completely different route here, like say parking Flounder just all the way in here and having Guppy do all the work. Which seems unlikely. Uh, can I make that switch? I don't believe so. Ouch. I didn't mean to. Dang. Uh, oh. What am I trying to do? Get Flounder here. I think you should have done that different. That's something I can't do. Okay. Alright, that's as much Pearl Sword as I'm doing today. I learned a few moves, but I don't think they're really ultimately helping me. I don't think I'm solving this puzzle. I'll probably make, like, one more attempt at it. It'll go about how that did, and then I'll just, like, forget about this forever. Maybe. Yeah, I am absolutely not committing to getting this puzzle done. But I'll probably try another time or two if I end up in a situation like this again. Alright, so next time... We get the red key card to open the red door and... Also a starfish that I've never gotten before. So that'll be an adventure. I'll see you then.